Hey everyone, it's Peggy with Sweet Tea Makery, and I'm so glad you're here today. So, um, today's tutorial, we're going to talk about making um, a face mask um, keeper, a necklace keeper. So, I was having a lot of trouble trying to keep up with all my face masks. I mean, I, I don't have a ton, but I do have a few. And um, in addition to trying to keep up with them, um, I just was really having a hard time trying to figure out, like, where do you put it when you go uh, from, you know, out of the store, back to your car, and, uh, and putting it in your purse, and it's just getting lost. So, um, I decided to craft my own uh, face mask necklace keeper, and I really wanted to give it a little bit of whimsy and to make it um, a little more than just a standard lanyard. Now you can use a standard lanyard and you just take in a pinch this back and you can clip your um, face mask onto the clip. But I kind of wanted to again give it a little bit of whimsy. So um, I went out and looked for some charms. I found uh, some really cute uh, charms to use uh, to incorporate into um, my necklace. So, uh, I'm going to take a quick sip. Everybody needs some crafting fuel. <laughs> I know I do. So, we'll set that aside. And I'll tell you uh, some of the things that you're going to be using uh, to make your own necklace. So, I'm going to tilt you down. So that you get a better point of view. And some of the things that you're going to need, I'm using a pair of tweezers, a needle set of needle nose pliers, and then I'm just using these uh, wire cutters. Um, you can use a smaller set. This happens to be one that I um, that I use all the time. And of course, you're going to need some charms, a chain, either one that you've purchased or you can upcycle one that you may already have in your um, jewelry box. And you'll need some what we could call lobster um, claps. You're gonna need two of those each, just to give you kind of a look. That's called a lobster clasp. And um, you can purchase those in a set, just like this or you can purchase, um, I purchased this a little while back. It's, it's a much larger set. It's to make earrings and things. I made some Buffalo check um, leather earrings uh, with my Cricut. And so um, I purchased a set in gold and also a set in uh, the silver. So if you're just joining me, let me know where you're viewing from. I'd love to, to see where um, everyone is uh, is viewing and uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel just tap that bell uh, and subscribe and you'll be able to see uh, any new content that um, I upload to share with you so we're gonna get started and I'm gonna show you quickly make this a little bit easier so I purchased a set of of charms. Now this is just strictly to use either individually or as multiples. And I purchased the B and it's in a gold. And um, these are what we consider linkable charms. Okay. So um, you can get them in a variety of styles. And these are adorable. These are the little puppy dog feet. And that's basically in a rhinestone um, with a silver tone to it. But when I uh, talk about what we consider linkable charms, what I'm talking about is that there is a link here and a link there. And that allows you to incorporate your charm within the um, links itself of the chain for in this instance the chain of a necklace 
So um, that is one of the things that you want to look for. You don't have to have that kind, but it's a different method uh, to make, um, make one of these if you're using a linkable charm. And we'll talk more about um, the difference a little later. So for this charm, uh, for this necklace, um, I have already uh, made one, and I'm just going to show you real quick so you can see. I've already um, made one side of this necklace, and again, you're going to need two of the lobster clasp and two of your charms, just so you get a better, really good look at that. Now, I purchased a necklace that was already, um, and it was just a plain chain necklace. It actually came in a set of two, one with gold and one with silver. And the, they're both uh, nickel free. I have an issue with nickel, so um, I made sure that I purchased the kind that was nickel free. You're gonna need a few of these little extras out of your kit of this ring. Okay, that's going to allow you to attach to your, your chain, attach your charm on this end, on the bottom end to your chain. Now this particular one came with what they call an extender, and that's usually the smaller piece here. And you can keep that on if you, if you so desire, but I really did not um, want that because this chain is about 24 inches long so I'm actually going to remove that and we'll just slip it off and you know I keep my spares just in case you never know when you're going to need it so I'll just place that over in my little stockpile and this one is actually no good so we will trash that So I came down about three chain lengths down, right to, let's see, one, two, and three. So on the fourth one, I just want to make sure I have that one, I'm going to trim or actually cut this link and we'll remove that piece and trash that because these are solidly linked they're not uh, you could squish it back together but I'm choosing not to do that and so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually um, and we'll just shift this out so I'm going to add add this, and we need to keep this third piece. I mean, this piece, of, this little small piece here. So I'm going to add my charm, and I want to go in this direction because when I have my necklace on using my face mask, it'll be in reverse, and then the bees will be pointing upward. That's just the way that I want to do mine. Um, that's just a personal preference. So when I removed the charm from here, it already had one of these circle links. So I just left it on there, but we're gonna use that one to attach to the chain. And uh, all we have to do is we're gonna find the part where it sort of, where it separates where it was connected and we're just going to bend it just ever so slightly bend it open with the pliers and we're going to attach it okay oops sorry <laughs> we're just going to attach it to the chain and hopefully i won't drop it again and we're going to just squeeze it shut so that it's nice and secure. Okay, 
So right now we have that attached. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to now attach this part here to the tail of our B. And we're going to use one of those round links that came in our kit. And we're going to do it again. I use my finger because it's, it's pretty soft and very easy to um, open and close. So I'm going to attach my little slide my B and the chain one end of the chain and we're just going to squeeze it shut. So now you can see that we have our B here and here and now we need to attach our uh, lobster claw. So this is about a medium size um, lobster claw. We need two now the necklace came with one and you can certainly use that, but sometimes they don't match what's in the kit. So you can either remove uh, the one that was already on there or you can use two new ones and that's what I chose to do. So the original one that came with the necklace is just a tiny bit smaller. It's pretty close matching in color, but it was a little smaller and I wanted more of a little medium size there. So we'll just take that. So now we're going to need a second ring to connect those. And again, if you're just joining me, um, let me know where you're viewing from. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and tap that bell and you'll be able to um, be notified when I upload more uh, or new content. And I do a variety of things. I do some jewelry um, and mostly home decor, but um, I like to do some of these little craft projects too. So now we have our pieces here and I'll give you a close-up view. Oops, sorry, <laughs> that probably wasn't the best idea. So I'll just hold it up. How about that? So now we have both sides. And I will show you how this works. We're going to take our face mask. Now um, I have a B one, but it's, it's mostly black. So I thought it was harder to show up. So I just picked out this one that I had recently purchased and I thought it was a really cute print. Uh, leopard print so um, we will use that one for because it shows up a little better and so what we want to do is take our face mask and this one is elastic has elastic and we're just going to open up that lobster clasp and just slip it in there and we're going to go to the other side and do the same and y'all, it's so much fun to look for charms. I just picked the bee because I thought it was pretty and I like bees, but um, you know, there's so many different ones. There's seahorses and beach related ones. So whatever, you know, whatever whimsy that you, that you like. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this up so that you can see, oops, I'll flip it around, so that you can see how it kind of hangs. Okay, how it's hooked. And now I'm going to tilt you up just a bit so that you can see how, um, I'd have to go a little bit more because I probably will stand up. So what this is, is that you place it here and um, you can get them to, I'm trying to get them to stay. So. What it is, is that you wear this around your neck and I'll take my glasses off so you can see. So that when you're not, when you're uh, wearing your mask, you can place it on here 
if where wherever you need to go, whatever store you're in or outside or whatever place that you're at. And then you can actually take it off just like this. Stand up so you can see. And then it's holding your, your mask. And now I'm not fiddling around in my purse or having it strapped to my arm. Um, it's just a very easy and decorative way to um, to kind of dress up your your uh, face mask keeper. And so that is the bee, the cute little bee. And I'm going to put that one aside because I want to show you some other options that you could also do. So. One of the things um, that I had is I had some of these bead work. So you can use beads or chains, whatever you choose. And I happen to um, have this one. And I don't wear it, wear it very often. So um, I had decided that I'll upcycle this one to kind of fit um, something else. And so I told you earlier that we were going to talk about the difference between what we called a linkable uh, charm and and just a more standard, what you would consider standard charm. So I'm going to tilt you back down so that we can take a look at what I'm talking about. So when you pick up a charm, this is what I consider a hanging charm. So in other words, it's just meant to hang either on a bracelet or on a charm necklace. Um, it doesn't have an extender down here, a extender link. It's, as you can tell, it's, um, oops, sorry, I got that reflection on there. So it doesn't have anything on the bottom of it. But as I had showed you before with the linkable ones, and I'll show you a close up. That one has a little bit of rhinestone in it, but you see, you see here, it has a link. So that is um, the difference. And I think the main reason is that on these hanging charms, they usually are the same on both sides. And when you have what they consider a linkable charm, they are uh, decorative on one side but then they have more of a plain back on the other. So that's one other, other difference. So this particular um, necklace that, that I have planned to upcycle, it, uh, I can easily remove this um, tassel here, and I'm going to do that without cutting it because I may decide one day that I want to... Um, to uh, and I'm going to squeeze it shut so it doesn't catch on anything in my little jewelry box. But you never know what you want to, um, that you may want to recycle it again, yet again, or rewear it. So I'm going to set that tassel aside and just kind of show you that this is just a bead. Let's see if I can get it without moving. So it has sort of an antique silver. Um, chain that attaches the beads to it. And what I had planned to do was to um, take, um, certainly you could use one of these and work in between it, which would be kind of cute. But um, I have a silver, pretty brighter silver um, chain that I plan to use with my little dog paws, which I thought was just adorable. A little dressier. And of course I purchased the silver lobster um, clasps to go with that, as well as with this. It already has a clasp and it's more of an antique, so I'll remove that one as well. But what I had planned to do was attach these here 
and we can use the same one. I'll just take that one off temporarily. And you can use any style. We have I have several types of um, of masks. Now what I will recommend is that these masks, although they are elastic, they have a fabric um, overlay and they're a lot thicker than you see just the plain elastic. So if you're going to use one that has that, I would re recommend um, a little larger clasp and this is gold but they come in different colors, bronze and everything. Um, just because you see how nicely that holds that. So you may want to take that in consideration when you're, um, when you are making your necklace. So what I had planned to do was um, make my, recycle my mine, and I was just going to hang the bead, I'm sorry, the charm, from here so that you it can just be hanging there it doesn't have to be in a line so again and you can just add charms all the way down you know whatever your creativity allows you or if you you know just like a charm bracelet you can add charms um, to your pieces to make it your own and reflect your own love um, passions and interests that you have um, for yourself so that was one option, and this is the second option, and that was this was upcycling your own. You can certainly find the beads as well um, already uh, pre-made for you. So here was another uh, design option, and this actually I purchased as a whole set. It was just, and you can get all kinds. This just happened to be what I found. There's all kinds. There's circles. There's so many options um, at the stores to pick from. So this one actually has a flat ring that is attached to it and a larger clasp. Now this ring actually is a key ring. So what you can do with that is that for instance I had this piece here um, I grew up on on the beach so I love all things beach beachy related and this was a beautiful um, stone piece um, that was um, made by an artisan um, that's a seahorse so what you can do with these is you can add your charms or this happens to be more of a necklace piece you can um just like you would a key if i can get that going easily i just do it backwards and there we go slide it so then you can just slide your charm and you have a piece that's that's more decorative so what you would do with this particular for your face mask is that you would just use the one class. This is like a really quick one. Um, you would just use your face mask. Let's just use this one. Um, when it's not in use, you could just easily just clip both sides like this. So, And it just serves as a decorative piece, as you can see. And your mask is like that. Um, hanging from, you know, of course, your neck. So it's really fun to go out and look for little charms. And if you um, actually needed to use, if you're a teacher or someone that works in a um, office environment that needs to um, wear an ID, you could actually slip your ID onto here, but still have something a little, a little decorative, and. Um, and that's fun to do as well, just to kind of give it a little bit of whimsy. And my last option that I had, <clears throat> if you did not want to wear it around your neck, um, they also sell, and I picked this up, it was so cute, 
it's actually a key ring and it has that same type of lobster this is the really big version of a lobster um let's see if we can show it that way and that same ring that is actually a key ring and you can actually add your charms to that as well you could add a little little bee charm like this here and you don't have to always use that little but it's kind of fun because you could add some extra beads it's just fun um, you could add that charm to, to this as well um, and then you would of course again use your lobster claw just like this and carry that on your uh, I would use this as a key ring or uh, because this is just way too big you could remove it if you needed to so your imagination is but you could also keep it sort of like on your key ring if you so desired so um, I really love the idea of doing um, and I'm going to tilt you up of making tilt you up here of making your own um, face mask necklace keeper and kind of just to make it kind of decorative and and uh, have a little fun making them so uh, if you like this craft let me know so I can know if I need to bring you more of these type of things um, and uh, if you make one I'd love to see you over on my Facebook channel um, or not channel but page uh, sweet tea makery um, I'd love for you to shoot me a photo of, of what you've made or your you know how you're wearing it um, it's always fun to see uh, what everyone's passions are and how their creativity um, incorporates into projects that we are all sharing with each other so I hope that you have a blessed day and if you um, uh, haven't already subscribed please do so now and I hope to bring some more projects um, soon and we will get to crafting again so y'all have a blessed day and we'll see you again soon bye now